our Facebook viewers, here we are with our program Miracles Can Happen. So in our today's program, we are going to show to you plenty of testimony. People who overcame their limits. People who had limitations, depend on tablet medication for many years of their lives. But after coming to one of our UCKG help center, they learned how to use their faith. And after learning how to use faith, they started putting their faith into actions. And there were miracles took place. So again, I would like to ask you, do you believe in miracles? Do you believe that God can perform a miracle in your life? What is your answer? If you say yes, so you are watching right now the right program. Because here in this program, we are going to show to you that the impossible can become possible. We are on a preparation for this Sunday, 17th February, when we are going to have this great campaign in our UCKG Help Center, also in our Succeeding Life Center, in all of our centers all over Asia and the Oceania. We are looking forward to break the limits, to overcome the limitations, and say that it is finished. Enough is enough of suffering, of humiliation, of misery, enough of being defeated. Stay with us. This is our program, Miracles Can Happen. Are you running life's race in search of true happiness and fulfillment? Are you battling with sicknesses? Um, then they diagnosed me with a very uh, life-threatening disease called hemolytic anemia. Broken relationships. I, I beat her up. I abused her. Spiritual problems. When I used to stay alone in the house, and then I feel that somebody else is dead. Do you want prosperity to be more than just a word in your life? Look, look for coins to put the petrol in the car. I don't have anything of my own. Family problems. Because we were drinking every day, there used to be a lot of problems, a lot of fighting, a lot of arguments, and it ended up into physical fights as well. Do you feel empty inside of you? Even when I tried to go out with my friends and fill that void, it just didn't seem to work. The Lord Jesus left us with the promise to complete all areas of our life, and you are complete in Him. Join us at 13 Lambie Drive, Manukau, for the seven prayers of a complete life, every Sunday at 9.30 a.m. Today I can say that I'm totally healed. I, you know, I spend more time with my family. I understood everything. Things have completely changed. In my house now, I can live alone. Even though my husband goes for a holiday, he leaves me alone at home. I, I feel joyful to live. In three years today, my asset is $2.5 million. We spend time together. We have, we call it family moments, and that we never used to see it. But I have the joy, the joy that um, nothing could ever amount to. No friends, no family could ever give me. For more information or to find a UCKG near you, contact us now on 09 262 2286 or 021 501 271 or visit our website on www.uckg.co.nz. To talk to you more about overcome your limits, I have here the Bible in the book of Numbers, chapter 13 from verse 27, where it showed to us that God promised His people to enter the promised land. But the land was not just their empty. There was people 
occupying the land. And now Moses called the twelve spies and sent them to spy over the land. And they came back to Moses with the report. And they said, We came to the land where you sent us, and surely it flows with milk and honey. And this is the fruit of it. However, the people are strong that do well in the land, and the seeds are fortified and very great. And also we saw the children of Enoch there. So the spies, they went to spy the land. They saw that the land was good, but also they saw the enemies. They, they saw their size. They saw how many they were. They saw how strong the enemies they were. And by what they saw, they fell limited. They didn't believe that you were able to make it, to go and fight and take possession the land. But number 13, verse 30, it's written here. Caleb silenced the people before Moses and said, let us go up at once and possess it, for we are able to overcome it. Praise God. Caleb went with the twelve spies. He saw that the land was good. Caleb saw also the size of the enemies and how many they were. But Caleb was not limited. Caleb believed that if God promised to give the land, he is with us and we can make it. That's why this Sunday, 17th February, this is the faith that is leading us in the, in the UCKG Help Center, also in our succeeding life. There is no limit for those who believe in God. Nothing can limitate you. Nothing can cause you to have limitations, to achieve, to conquer. Nothing, my friends. If the Spirit of God is with you, you can. It is possible for you to change your life. As the testimonies that I want to show to you right now. I'll show you testimonies. People who came into our UCKD broken, sick, with their lives destroyed, but they overcame their limits and they conquered healing and the transformation. Let us watch now these testimonies and I'll be right back. And after the prayer, how do you feel your, your feet? I feel, I feel good. Um, I don't have any bone in my tibia at the moment and not in my ankle. Yeah. If you believe God can create that bone yeah. still, but the pain is no longer there. The pain is no longer there. Do you have faith? Yes, I do. Can I have your crutches? Yes. Try to walk normal. Let's see if Jesus is here. Try to walk normal. Come here. Come. Come. Come with faith. Come with faith. Amen. Amen. Very strong to Jesus. Very strong. Come back. Come back. How do you feel your, your ankle now? Um, it's like heavy. My leg is heavy. My knee feels heavy. But there's no pain. No pain at all. No pain. At all. Who healed you? Jesus. Amen. Amen. Look, 
You are with no crutches. So how was your week been? It's been good. I've been working without the crutches. So I remember last week, Sunday, you came here to the front full of pain and on crutches. So how was the pain? What happened with your with your heel? Um, I've got a chronic osteomyelitis. It's a bone disease. And got the doctors took it out. And it was a lot. Of, and they said it can't be healed. If they put the metal in there, but it could infect it. So they've got nothing in there now. But they said I have to be very careful. And you couldn't walk without the, those crutches? Yes, I couldn't walk without the crutches. And how was this week? You were walking without the crutches since Sunday? Since Sunday, yes. Thank God for that. Yes, I can. Walking normal now? Yes, a little bit better. I mean, so walk here. Walk here. Who healed you? Jesus. I mean, very strong to you. Very strong. I mean, I mean. Look at me. Congratulations to your faith. Hello, I'm here in our Universal Church in Lotoka, and I'm here with Sanjeshni Sharma. Miss Sanjeshni, how was your life before you came to the Universal Church? My life was um, full of misery. I was usually very angry. I would uh, get upset and angry with small things like, for example, things that are unorganized, things that are lying here and there. I would just get angry. I would put this anger on my family members, on my husband, on my sisters, my mom, even at work. Even at work, uh, I'm a... Um, teacher by profession so in, in my school if somebody doesn't meet the deadlines I would just growl at them or you no know, show my frustration over them and um, I was also for my personal life I was trying to have a family uh, that I was not successful for two years so for two years you could you were trying to have children but you could not yes that's right I could not I was trying but I could not the frustration was that, and it came into my life, my personal life, my, my workplace. So you tried for two years. Did you go uh, to doctors? Where did you go? What did you try? I tried my, my methods, like my praying. I'm, I was Hindu, so I went for my prayers, and all were unsuccessful. You tried, it, you tried the advices from your parents, etc.? Yes, I tried fertility tablets as well, so they did not work. None of that worked. And how did you come to know about the Universal Church? Um, there was one of my colleagues who, um, who encouraged me to knowing Jesus. So at that point in time, I tried to look for a church to go to. So uh, as I was planning to go to a church on Sunday, I came across this uh, TV ad uh, in 7 a.m., uh, Stop Suffering. So that's when I knew about Universal Church. That was the day. I think it was April 22nd. I decided to join the church. So I attended the first service at 6 uh, p.m. on Sunday, April 22nd this year 2018 and today how was your life today who is Sanjeshni today after coming to the Universal Church participate in the meetings my life changed dramatically as soon as I entered this church I knew where I'm supposed to be for example small little things like my behavior I, I had peace inside me uh, my my changes was noticed by my family members by my colleagues uh, that, that frustration that anger wasn't there not there anymore and uh, for my personal for for my personal gain uh, I had peace at home peace in my workplace and then I looked at the activities of the church I joined the all the meetings the Monday meetings the Wednesday meetings the Friday meetings and also joined the evangelization group so let me understand so you took part of the chain of prayers you got your water to be blessed yes. you took part of the uh, of the purpose of faith we have on Fridays on Mondays yes I, I came here with a my bottle of water every Sunday to be blessed I took part in all the activities and the and the purpose of the church for example the campaign of Israel the fast of Daniel and I took and participated uh, honestly in all of those activities and, and today you say that your life is blessed. Yes, my life is blessed. All the little things that I talked about, my behavior, my, my attitude, my, the, I had peace in my life. And the most important one, I, I conceived. I conceived in July. And now, I currently, I am four and a half months pregnant. Four and a half months pregnant. I'm four and a half months pregnant. So your life is totally transformed. Yes, my life is totally transformed. I have joy, I have peace in my life. And the most important motive of me joining the church has, you know, it's the first stepping stone has already been covered. So I'm truly, truly blessed. Thank you, Sanjeshni. Thank you so much.
Did you see what God did in the life of this person? How did the life of this person was? And what happened after coming to the UCKG Help Center? So our Facebook viewers, the time arrived for you stop just watching our program, writing here your comments, saying that you are watching from this place, from that place. The time arrived for you to stand up and come and join us. This Sunday, 17th February, it will be the day that we bishops, pastors, assistants, members of the UCKG Help Center and Succeed in Life, we are going to gather together. We are going to hold the hands, put the hands together in one faith, in one heart, determined that for us, this year 2019, there will be no limits anymore. We have a plenty of passage in the Bible that shows that the heroes of faith in the past, they overcame their limitations. So we have there Joshua who broke down the walls of Jericho. And the same Joshua on the day of a battle, he had that faith to say that the sun should stop up to the sky, and the moon should stop as well. And the sun obeyed the voice of a, of a man. Look what faith does. In God there is no limitations. And for those who have the Spirit of God inside of them, also they can't be limited. Unemployment, misery, sickness, family problem, financial problem, spiritual problem, nothing can limit those who live by faith. So I want to show you more testimonies. And then after the testimonies, we are going to talk to you more about overcome your limits. My name is Gilly, and before coming to the Universal Church, I had lots of problems. One of my problems was spiritual. I used to see a lot of evil spirit. Anywhere I go, I used to see lots of spirit, like I would see shadows, I would hear voices, I would see things stand up, something like covered with a sheet. When there was nobody there, when I looked back, I would see nothing. And also in the night before I go to sleep, I used to hear things like something fall on the roof. And then I would hear something walking on the roof. And when I go to sleep, and I do sleep away, the next morning when I get up, I wake up with marks in my skin, like if something sucked my skin, blue marks, sometimes black, and that is how it was with me. I was very frustrated. I did not know what to do. And due, due to all of that, I, um, I was to get always sick, always sick, always had real problems and feeling very down. And I went all over for help. Nobody could have helped me. I was invited to the church by my sister. She told me to come and I will get a change in my life. So I did come with her. I did the chain of prayer. And it was not easy doing the chain of prayer because things was getting bad. It, look, it seems bad, but eventually everything get good. And, and now I am happy and everything, my life is changed. And now I don't have those problems I used to have before. Now I don't see shadows. I don't hear no evil. I don't wake up no marks in my body, it's have no marks, and I don't hear anything in my roof again, and everything is much better, everything is good. Right now, I am happy. I think I am the most happiest person I know right now, because I am the happiest that I have ever been in my life. And because after this chain of prayer, I know it works.
Well, dear friend, you saw the testimony. You saw what our God has done in all the UCKG Help Center. All over Asia and Oceania, I am Bishop Flav, and I am talking to you from our UCKG Help Center in New Zealand. We are located at Tetin Lamb Drive. If you are watching us from New Zealand, especially from Auckland, you can come and join us. We have prayer service in the morning, in the afternoon, and in the evening. So I have here the picture of the cross. And I want you now to look at this picture and understand, as you see the picture of this cross, I want you to understand that on the cross, Jesus died. But also, at the cross, he overcame his limits. He overcame hell. He overcame curses. He overcame sickness. He overcame misery, suffering. All the problems together, they were not capable. All demons in hell, they were not strong enough to overcome what Jesus did on the cross. He overcame his limit. He sacrificed himself. He gave his life for you on the cross. As you see the picture of this cross, understand that as he overcame all his limits on the cross, you can overcome because his spirit is with you. If you do you believe, Jesus said, come back to me, please. Jesus said, if you have a faith so small as a mustard seed, you can say to the mountains, move from here to that side, and the mountains should obey you. Did you ever see a mustard seed? It's a very small seed. And I believe that your faith, it is bigger than a mustard seed. So if your faith is bigger than a mustard seed, you can. You, you have to say right now, enough is enough. You have to stand now in front of your computer if you are sitting down, if you are lying down, you have to stand up now and say, enough is enough. I can't live this limited life anymore. I don't accept this limitation. Yes, you can stand up. You can say to yourself, I can do it. I can make it. Because you can. God is, is with you there right now. But don't miss this Sunday, 9 30 a.m., to get your bottle of water and come and join us in one of our UCKG help center all over Asia and Oceania. What you have to do is to come also to our Succeeding Life Center if you know where we are located about. We come to the end of our program, Miracles Can Happen. And we do believe that if you apply yourself to use your faith, if you don't allow the problems who are in front of you to lead your actions, your life can change. So see you at the next time. May God bless all of you. Bye-bye.